Hey guys, welcome to day three of spring cleaning week and today it is time to tackle the biggest and most daunting task of spring cleaning week and that is cleaning your room. So I am going to share my tips and tricks on how to clean your room, how to get it done, how to get it done well. Make sure that you do this once and then you only have to keep it up with little touch-ups throughout the rest of the year. This may take a while, I'm gonna be honest with you. This is going to take a few hours, but once you do it, you're gonna feel so good. Everything's gonna smell clean, everything's gonna be organized, your life is going to get easier. I don't know, I just think everything is so much more efficient and quick when your room is organized. So I think that the most important thing in spring cleaning or just cleaning your room in general is to have structure. And the way I like to put structure into my cleaning and organizing is I work in a certain order. So I always work from the top down and clockwise. So I will start near my door and then I will work my way clockwise and um, every time I start a new section I will start up and work my way down. And effectively that means that the first thing we're going to do, the very first thing, is to dust the lampshade. This is something that gets overlooked a lot I feel, um, but it's very important because your know, lampshade just collects dust. So I like to just take a little duster and dust off my lampshade very quick. So another way I put structure into my cleaning and organizing is I have a set routine that I always do. Not only do I go clockwise and from the top to the bottom, I also kind of do the same thing with every area that I reach. So the first thing I do is I clear the area. So I get everything out, empty cabinets, empty everything. I just empty everything out and then I clean the surface. So I have a little spray bottle with some multi-purpose cleaner and a little bit of water and I just spritz the surface down and then go over it with a microfiber cloth. My surface is clean. So then what I do is before I put anything back, I assess whether this is an item that I actually want to keep. And I like to do this with kind of a minimalist approach. So I ask myself, does this item make me happy? Is it useful? Do I want this in my life? And do I actually need this? If the answer is no, I will get rid of it. Donate, um, just throw away or give, to, give it to someone. And if the answer is yes, I will clean the item, just dust it off and put it back. Now this should leave you with a little bit less stuff when you end than when you start it. And the less stuff you have, the easier it is to organize it. And I like to organize everything into little compartments. So I feel like the more compartments you have, the more organized it is. So I have like baskets inside baskets, inside boxes, inside bigger boxes. <laughs> I just like to give everything a very designated place. That is kind of what organization is to me, making sure that everything has its place and is where it belongs. So I'm going to do this for all my surfaces, all my cabinets, everything. Again, going clockwise. So there, first I have um, my four cubbies by the door, then I have my desk drawers, my desk itself, um, the cabinet above my desk where I keep all my kind of beauty stuff. We have already done the closet. <laughs> if you want to see my closet organization video, I uploaded that on Tuesday, so you can go check that out. When you reach a bookshelf, remember to dust off every book that you have. The tops of books tend to catch a lot of dust because they're kind of, um, well, they have a texture and dust just kind of grips onto that. So dust off the tops before you put them back. For the bed, there are a few extra steps that I like to do to my bed when I'm spring cleaning uh, versus any other type of cleaning. So what I do is I take off all my sheets and I vacuum clean my mattress. This may sound weird, but I just... There is stuff that gathers on your mattress. Um, dust, you know, skin flakes, ew, but yes. <laughs> vacuum cleaning the mattress also just gets stuff out of there, which is good. So I like to do this every now and then, just vacuum mattress, then um, put on a fresh set of sheets. Air your pillows and your duvets so that they are uh, nice and fresh. You can even launder them if you want to and then get some clean sheets on and make the bed again. So then of course you're gonna have to clean the windows and I, I, oh, I hate cleaning the windows. I always think it's not necessary until I start to do it and I end up with a black cloth. But yeah, this is the time to clean the windows and while you're at it, clean all the mirrors as well. So for the curtains, you can again either launder them and this is really easy, you, just, you can just take them off and then Put a t-shirt around the top where the clips are and just tie it off and uh, that way you can just throw it into the laundry and you don't have to take all the little hooks off. So that's a good tip and you can actually hang your curtains up while they're still damp, so straight out of the washing machine. When you hang them up while they're still a little bit damp, they will actually dry straight because they're hanging and they will be straightened out by their own weight. So that's a little tip. But if you're too lazy to launder your curtains like I am, <laughs> I like to actually just vacuum clean them, so I just stick my vacuum and I 
just vacuum my curtains and then I spritz a little bit of fabric freshener if you have an outside space take any rugs that you have outside and dust them so uh, you can just put them down upside down and just pat the top with a little um, rug duster or actually just beat it with whatever you have in the meantime clean all your floors so vacuum and mop them if you need to and then uh, vacuum clean your carpet as well or your rug and put it back in the room so the last thing you shouldn't forget is to clean all the doors and door handles um, this is an area that is touched a lot I actually do this on a regular basis your door handles get touched by hands a lot and hands are really dirty so uh, make sure to clean them you can even disinfect them with a little bit of alcohol if you like and I also like to clean the area around my door handles because um, I often have closed the door I swing it open and then I'll close the door by just grabbing onto the door and kind of you know, slowing the swing Is that weird? I don't know, but I end up with like little grip marks on my door So I clean that so the most time-consuming thing is to take out all your belongings Purge and organize them and just put them back in that's what takes a lot of time But I promise you you will feel so good after this is done I just love the feeling of a clean room. It is so worth it. So those are my tips for spring cleaning your room, guys. Good luck. If you have any more tips that you want to share, please share them down in the comments below. We can all help each other. But that's all that I have for you today. So I want to thank you so much for watching. And I will see you tomorrow. We're going to clean something else. Bye.